Hey guys, in this tutorial I'll show you how I created this fun water from Cloud Illusion in Adobe After Effects. So let's just get right into it. First let's take a look at the original shot. It's actually pretty simple. In the original shot there were no real clouds. I put a camera on a tripod and then pretended to stab the knife into a cloud which we'll add here in the post-production. And right in that moment the water starts falling. Finally keep the camera rolling and record a clean plate. And that's pretty much all we need so we can get into the editing part. Before that I want to quickly talk about Envato Elements. Envato Elements is a tool every filmmaker will appreciate. You can find there thousands of creative assets and templates for any kind of project you're working on. They offer great stock footage, including green screen clips like fog, fire, lightning, and literally anything you'll need. Apart from that, this library also includes awesome After Effects and Premiere Pro templates, VFX assets, intros, transitions, motion graphics, as well as sound effects and music. It allows you to download unlimited amount of all these assets just for a single price and you can cancel it anytime. Envato Elements is a huge time saver and helps you create videos faster. Make sure to check it out, there is a link in the description down below. Now let's fire up After Effects. I place the two shots on the timeline. Clean plate on the bottom and the main shot on top of that. First we want to remove everything that doesn't belong into the shot as well as the water bucket. To do this we can use the clean plate layer and a simple mask. So move the clean plate layer above the main shot and grab the pen tool. Then draw a mask around the area you want to remove. Also feather it out a bunch. Next we can place a cloud there. I found some good ones on Envato Elements. They also have these very cool 3D clouds, which you can rotate around to get the exact angle you need for your shot. If there is a blue sky in the image, we can remove it easily. First draw a feathered mask around the cloud, and then use the key light effect to remove the blue sky. I wanted to remove the box with the water entirely, so I made a duplication of the clean plate layer and created another mask. I also animated it. Now we can pre-compose all of these video layers. I also want to get that water stream on top of the cloud. So I duplicated the video again and moved it above the cloud layer. Then I used the extract effect to isolate the water. And made a mask around it. Now we have this. As our next step we can rotoscope the knife. So duplicate the main shot and move it to the top of the timeline. Then grab the roto brush tool and make a selection around the knife. We only need to do this for a couple of frames. Then freeze the selection and adjust the settings. To make the cloud feel more three-dimensional, I decided to add more layers of cloud images stacked on top of each other. As you can see the main cloud sits below the water and knife layers, but I'll add some more cloud images on top of everything. When the knife cuts through the cloud we can create a mask on the main cloud layer. and animate it to follow the movement of the knife. Next set the mask blending mode to subtract and feather it out a bit. 
you should get something like this. As the knife goes into the cloud, we can distort the whole cloud to emphasize it a little more. For this I use the turbulent displace effect and animated the amount and evolution. Then I also animated the position of those small individual clouds which are on top of the knife. You can again use the turbulent displace effect to add some more movement and distortion to them. If you want to animate the evolution you can also use a simple expression. Hold Alt and click the stopwatch icon, then type in time, times, maybe 200. I think this looks cool already. Additionally, we can animate the brightness of the clouds to make it brighter as the water falls from it. To achieve this, I apply the curse effect to the layer and animated it. As a final touch, I added this water splash. Finally, we can pre-compose everything and top it all off with some fake camera movement and color grading. And we are done. If you found this helpful, please consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.